step inside the marketing mirror to uncover marketing secrets, discover gems, tactics, lessons, and campaigns you can use, next gen or fundamentals. Grab the marketing magic to improve your marketing and win more business. Hello and welcome. I'm Sue Ann with Right Mix for Business and you're watching or maybe you're listening to on Spotify or your favorite channel, The Marketing Mirror. Because everything you do reflects your business and brand. And today we're going to go pretty far into the marketing mirror because we're going to be looking into the future. Because I've been asked, I've had the privilege, the honor, and I feel very grateful to be included in the upcoming edition of 100 Live Streaming and Digital Media Predictions. So it's that time of the year where we're thinking about where do things stand. And um, it's an honor, again, I'm very grateful to be in this year's edition of the award-winning book, 100 Live Streaming Predictions. And so a lot of people have had a lot to say last year on the topic of AI. I think that's still going to be pretty relevant, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I'm looking at things from a prediction point of view. So I'm sticking with this thought. Technology is about connecting with humans, making things easier for people through automated systems and processes, and speeding things up to save the most precious of all resources, your time. But just like in previous years, I still say the emphasis is on people. It's always about people for the win, and ultimately, it's people we do business with collaborate and exchange ideas with and generally want to interact with as social beings. Now, to go a little digital on you, I don't think anyone really can predict what the heck is going to happen over the next year or years. I don't think any of us can, truthfully. Not at this never happened before pace. The speed of change with the rapid rise of AI and other generative technologies is flying forward so lightning fast that even their makers' heads are spinning. So who am I to guess or pretend to have the answers and the insight as to where all of this may be heading? But what I do know is that digital creators and business owners who embrace, enhance, and develop along with the features and agility of the tech coming at us full throttle are the ones who will stay relevant and end up at the forefront of the digital evolution or revolution. I also know these new technologies are fun and exciting and offer more to learn and to do, allowing you to create in ways never before possible. I urge you to experiment with and embrace an agile business culture, giving your potential, giving you new potential beyond your imagination, thrilling creative possibilities, and much more, rather than resisting what is already happening with or without you. These changes are poignant to every business, whether digital first in nature or not. I think we are in for extraordinary times, new frontiers in business and marketing, and impactful changes to our society as a whole as augmented reality develops before our eyes rather than in a future world dystopia setting. Technology, good or bad, will continue to be stronger and more influential force with who we are integrating more and more ubiquitously into our everyday lives and well beyond the ramifications of just businesses and industries. If we, as content creators and business owners, lead the charge with open minds, curiosity, and excitement for the possibilities, who knows what fantastic advances for future and the future of digital holds. 
my best advice? Let's go find out. But now for your future business, how can you embrace and evolve in the digital whirlwind, but still grow your business and better engage with the people you serve? My answer And one of the ways I help clients is to build and nurture relationships by creating personally engaging email marketing strategies as part of a concrete content marketing plan. One of the most overlooked marketing tools, email strategy, it's often skipped altogether completely or it's underutilized by businesses in their digital marketing efforts. But to me, This concept is the key. It has everything to do with how you treat people after the sign up, the buy, or joining your whatever, the opt-in. It's the after the click experience you establish with everyone who says yes, that matters most of all. How you nurture, interact, and connect genuinely To build an ongoing relationship makes all the difference to the people who intersect with you. Ultimately, the difference results in business growth and brand affinity beyond any other marketing method because, firstly, you're invited into somebody's inbox. Then you're given one-to-one access to that person with a chance to embrace and enhance the conversation now open to you. Of course, you need to make the most of this human-to-human opportunity by crafting a valuable and desirable experience so people are excited to hear from you and can't wait to open your emails. Directly connecting with people by drawing them into your world opens a two-way conversation. And that's at the center of all marketing even in today's digital landscape. Meet people at the center of value. You value them and they value you for the win. So that's my two cents for now. And there's a lot to talk about with AI, and I'm sure we'll be going there soon. In fact, I'm working on some things in that area. Jody Krangle will be back to talk more about sound branding. And by that, I mean the branding, the audio brand for your business, including things like music and sonic logos. We're going to be talking about things we didn't talk about in part one, so it's going to be even more interesting. And I have something coming up again in the future, talking about the future of blogging with my co-host on a spaces, Lisa Sicard from Inspire to Thrive and featuring Henneke Dustermott from Enchanting Marketing. So a lot coming up. Oh, and an interview on creativity in business with the pretty infamous Lee Love professional photographer, and so much more. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts about what you think is going to matter most in 2024. I think, as I've said in previous editions, and I still keep at the heart of all of the marketing or business that I do, it's about people and being a human being, and connecting with people on a human level. And when your content can connect with people, then it's the best thing. It's it's the best possibility for you. It's the best thing that can happen. And so that's why I really love that I do a lot of writing, because writing is kind of the core thing for all digital media. And it gives you that opportunity to figure out how to make that emotional connection like Jody does in talking about connecting to people emotionally and memorably with sound. So a lot to stew around for the end of the year. 
and think about going into the new year so that you have some clarity, some focus, and you really understand that marketing has changed a lot and it's a two-way conversation. But it's not just about you appreciating your customers. It's also about them appreciating you. It is a two-way street. So I can't wait to see you on the next Marketing Mirror. Thanks for checking it out and talk to you soon. Also, check out my website at rightmixforbusiness.com and visit Buy Me a Coffee slash The Marketing Mirror if you'd like to buy me a coffee. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs>